Hello, hello. Hello, students. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I am doing great, Ali. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? Um, eh, cansado. Tiring. Tiring. It was tiring. Estresado. A stressful. A stressful. It was stressful and tiring. Hello, Arabella. Now I can see. <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, Joanna. How are you? Tell me, what did you do today? What activities did you do during your day? I'm working. Um, I worked. Ay, perdón, I work. Perdón, era con Diana, <laughs> No, 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 with everybody, with all of you. So you say, I worked. I worked. I, I shopped. I, I shopped. Uh -huh. I drive. I drove. Drove. Past tense. Ya pasó. Ya se acabaron las actividades. I drove. I what else? Eat the dinner. I. No, eat. I ate. I ate dinner. I ate dinner. What else did you do? Uh, I me uh -huh. I get the shower. I took a shower, right? I, I read your mind. Shower. It's on the chat. It's on the chat. I <laughs> I took a shower, took a right? Shower. Ah, okay. Okay. What else did you do? You say I drove, I ate, I ate, I worked, I walked, right? All these activities and many more are the ones that you did today. I am sure that you did many, many, many more that you did many more activities. Let's see. Here. So, yesterday, my dear students, we were studying a lot of sentences in the past form, right? And today we are going to keep working on that. We are going to keep practicing on that. Thanks to all the ones that send the audios, practicing the verbs, right? The more you practice, the better it's going to become. Try to practice. Try to practice all the time, okay? So, even if you say like, no, teacher, es que se me ve raro. It's okay. Try to practice. The more you practice, the more you are going to get the ideas. So, I was asking you people, what activities did you do today during your day? So, you were mentioning I work, I did this, I did that. But here I have a couple of examples of sentences. For example, here, what will be the form of the verb that we need to use here? My brother and I finished, finished. 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 our homework a few minutes ago. Susan like Liked skating, mm -hmm. right? She liked skating. Mm -hmm. I am going to move this one here. She liked skating. When, people? Susan so, liked skating when she was a girl. Yes. What about the next one? Joe broke, broke, broke. right? Joe mm -hmm. broke his leg three weeks ago. Right, Joe broke his leg three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. What about the next one? I, I met. met, right? Met. 
I met mm -hmm. only with one E, right? I met my best friend George in 2005. My parents went. When. My parents went, right? My parents went, went to the theater yesterday evening. What about the next one? He, he watch, 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 he watch, he watch a scary horror film last night, right? He watched a scary horror film last night. What about the next one? I didn't go. I didn't go, right? I didn't go. That's I did not. I did not go to school when I was when she was ill. What about oh Emma did not go to school when she was ill? What about the next one? Where did you live? Where did where you did live? where did you leave your jacket? Donde dejaste? Tu chaqueta. Where did you? I'm going to copy this one. Where did you live? Because this is the same. Si ya ocupamos did, el verbo ya no cambia. Where did you leave your jacket? And the next one. Oh, sorry. It says. Did, did you hate? Did you hate, right? And this is a good question. Did you hate broccoli when you were a child? Yes or no, people? Yes. Do you still hate it? Did you hate broccoli when you were a child? And the last one, Peter. Red. Red. And it is the same written form, but different pronunciation. Peter read a very interesting book yesterday. Something that I want to point out from these sentences, people, are the following. Something that is very important that I want to mark from the sentences is this. There you have here, a few minutes ago, when she was a girl, three weeks ago. What is another time expression that you can find? ¿Qué otra forma de tiempo pueden encontrar en las oraciones? Yesterday evening. Ajá, so you say yesterday evening. Last, last night. night. In 2005, last mm -hmm. night. When she was ill. When yesterday. she was ill, right? And yesterday. Yesterday. And when you were a child, when you were a child, when you were a child. So these expressions of time help you mark the past tense of sentences, okay? Estas expresiones les van a ayudar a marcar esa forma de tiempo pasado de la que están hablando. ¿Cuál fue la primera pregunta que yo les hice ahora? What did you do today? How was your day? What activities did you do during your day? And you say, ah, teacher, today in the morning, I ate. Or I ate today in the morning, right? How do I know in which moment it happened? Because of the time expression. Quizás no siempre va a llevar una expresión de tiempo cuando esté hablando de pasado, pero casi siempre es como bien común. So you say, um, I worked all day long. I went to the university in the morning. I finished uh, the movie an hour ago. I was having dinner at 8 p.m., right? So you mark the moment on which you are talking about. I made this sandwich two days ago. Maybe it's not good anymore, right? Tell me something that happened in 2000 for you. ¿Qué pasó en el 2000 para ustedes? Tell me one activity that happened in the 2000. Uh, Ajá. ¿Qué pasó en el 2000? Y <laughs> 
Oh, come on, people. It was like 22 years ago and you don't remember. It's okay. Uh-huh. Let's 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 move. In September this year. No, I am muy lejos. Okay, in September this year. Something that you did? Um Give me one activity. Invent one. Si no, invent uh, one. Happy birthday. Uh, my sister. Ajá. Hagamos esa oración. Armémosla entre todas. I happy birthday, my sister. Ajá. Eso se llama creando el inglés. Go ahead. Hagamos la oración no. un poco mejor. Uh, my, my. The. It was, it was, it was, uh, who? Who have birthday my sister? No, it was my sister's birthday. It was my sister's birthday. Or I celebrated my sister's birthday or my sister had her birthday you have four different sentences for uh, this uh, expression what have what celebration did you have in september the national celebration independence, independence, day. independence day so we celebrated we celebrate Independence, Independence Day. Day. Very good job. Imagine that you uh, travel to the beach. So you say, I went to the beach in September. Okay, and you have a sentence in the past. Let's do another example. Let's do another example. Here. Tell me something that you did a few minutes ago. ¿Qué hicieron hace unos minutos? Uh, I go. No. I had dinner. Ah, yeah. so you say I had dinner a few, a few minutes, minutes ago. ago. Okay, a few minutes ago. I had dinner a few minutes ago. In this case, people, and I think you all can see the screen. So you say, I had dinner, okay, a few minutes ago, okay? Esas son las partes que necesitamos en las oraciones. Hagamos más ejemplos. So you can say, I, eh, I work. ¿Con qué la podríamos complementar? I worked. Give me a time expression. I worked. On computer. I worked on the computer, right? I worked on the computer, right? Okay, I worked on the computer. When? A few minutes ago. I worked on the computer a few minutes ago. Okay, ahí la vamos a poner el extra. A few minutes ago. Okay, give me another thing. So you can say he. He. Deme un verbo en pasado. He watch. He watch what? He watch, he watch. Watch what? Sorry. TV. He watch TV. Okay. He watch TV. When? When do you tele? He watch TV yesterday. Okay. He watch TV yesterday. Okay. Ya movimos el aquí esto, pero. Teacher, disculpe, ¿qué yep. significa eh, few? 
A few, se pronuncia? unos cuantos. A few minutes. Ah, Hace okay. unos minutitos, you say. A few minutes ago. Imagine that you are looking for, for your friend and you say like, hey, y la Juanita, she was here a few minutes ago. Hace unos minutitos estaba aquí, right? She was here. Para no especificar eh, en cuánto ¿Cuántos? tiempo. Ajá. Right? You don't know how many, but a few minutes ago. It's like, hace un ratito, si se acaba de ir, right? Ah, okay, okay. Gracias. A few minutes ago. That's the meaning. Good. Let's see. Another example. Give me another example. Let's see with she. She. She was. Cook. Oh. She cook what? The lunch. She cooked the lunch. Good. In the morning. In the morning. Good. Very good. She cooked the lunch in the morning. Okay. There you go. She cooked the lunch in the morning. So those are examples of sentences that you can create. Cuando yo le digo, ¿qué hicieron ahora? So you say, I worked in the morning, I cooked dinner, I, and then you can start building up all the activities that you did during the day. So let's transform some sentences. If I say, okay, this one, how do you make this one a past tense sentence? Present. Hagan la pasada. Hagan la en pasado. Soccer yesterday. Very good. So you say, I played soccer yesterday. Okay, y aquí ya pasó, ya jugué, se acabó. I played soccer yesterday. So if I say, for example, the next one, let's make this one green. I am happy. How do you make it past? I was happy. I was happy. I was happy, right? I was happy. That's the form. Give me another sentence. Let me see. I am going to put one. They, uh, they uh, write letters to Santa. <laughs> okay, the kids. They write letters to Santa. Uh, okay, they write letters to Santa. Give me this one in past. They wrote. They wrote. They wrote. They wrote, they wrote letters to Santa. Okay, so this is the form of past tense. You have to focus on the verb that you are using for you to transform these ones into the past tense. Easy form to make them negative. Simple hacerlas negativas. Es simple hacerlas pasado y ahora mucho más simple hacerlas negativas. They, I played soccer yesterday and you say no, I didn't, didn't play soccer yesterday. Okay, no, teacher, I didn't play soccer yesterday. Sorry, teacher, you are wrong. I didn't play soccer yesterday. This is a negative. I was happy. How do you make it negative? I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. I I'm happy. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Ese es, el, ese, es el, ese es el error. Ese es el error que yo quería. You cannot say I didn't was. Um, I didn't be. No. ¿Por qué? Porque el verbo aquí es was. En la forma negativa de was es wasn't. Okay. I wasn't happy. So, todos los verbos que van con was y were tienen su forma negativa única que es wasn't y weren't because you cannot say I didn't, I didn't be happy it's not possible o sea, todas las formas de was y were en su forma negativa es wasn't y weren't que es como el isn't y aren't en el simple present in this one 
cuando es un verbo normal, you say, they wrote letters to Santa. In this case, you say, they didn't, they didn't write. They didn't write. Porque aquí necesitamos el auxiliar para el verbo. Okay? They didn't write letters to Santa. Okay? So, the only ones that we're going to change for wasn't and weren't, they have their specific form. Then the other verbs, didn't. I didn't write, I didn't go, I didn't see, I didn't play, I didn't study. But in was, you cannot say I didn't was. Y ese es el error quizás más común cuando empiezan a estudiar past tense. Que dice, I didn't was. No, I wasn't, you say. So, this is a good example. To make it questions. Si la pregunta va, o si la oración normal es con was or where, la pregunta va a ir, was I happy? Ok, pero si estas tienen un auxiliar did, ¿cómo did. iría la pregunta? Did, did. I, y como el verbo es normal, did I play, play soccer? Play. Did I play soccer? Or you can say, did I play soccer yesterday? Ok, si el verbo tiene un auxiliar did, la pregunta empieza con did. Si el verbo es was or were, la pregunta comienza con was or were. Okay. Was I happy? Was I there? Was I here in the morning? Right? And in these ones, if you have an auxiliary, the auxiliary is the one that is going to become the question. Let's check more examples. Let's go here. Vámonos a la presentación. I have more examples right here. So, in this one. I have here examples of affirmative and negative sentences. Can you help me to read them, please? Let's read all the affirmative ones, all these ones. Let's read the affirmative first. Leámosla. Todos se me quedaron callados. <laughs> Read them. I studied on Sunday. I studied on Sunday. You watch it. Watch television. She. 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 They, they exercise on Saturday. They exercise on Saturday. Good. The negatives. So you say, I studied on Sunday. And I say, mm -mm -mm. I, didn't I didn't study on Saturday. I studied on Sunday. You say, like, I didn't study on Saturday. You watch television. And you say, you didn't, you didn't watch, watch a movie. movie. She stayed home. She didn't, didn't stay, stay out. Didn't stay. We shop for groceries. We didn't we shop, shop for groceries. Didn't home. shop no. for groceries. They exercise on Saturday. They didn't they exercise. Didn't. On Sunday. Okay, they didn't exercise on Sunday. And here I have more examples, people. We're going to work on a lot of examples today, okay? Here. Okay. We did this one, right? Let me finish here. My brother and I finished our homework a few minutes ago. Make it negative. ¿Cómo haríamos negativa a esa? My brother and I. My brother and I. Didn't. Didn't finish, right? The normal verb. My brother and I didn't finish our homework a few minutes ago. What about the next one? Susan liked skating when she was a girl. Susan didn't like 
Skating when she was a girl. Very good, when she was a girl. Joe broke his leg three weeks ago. Joe, Joe broke his leg three weeks, his leg three weeks, leg three weeks ago. ago. Didn't break, right? Joe didn't break his leg three weeks ago. I met my best friend George in 2005. I didn't, I didn't meet my best friend George in 2005. Very good. I didn't meet, right? I didn't meet my best friend George in 2005. 2005. My parents, my parents went to the theater yesterday evening. My parents didn't. Oh. Yes, Repeat with me, parents. 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 No, parents. No, you say parents. 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 Exactly. My parents didn't go to the theater didn't yesterday go. evening. Didn't, didn't, didn't go. My parents, parents didn't go, didn't go. to the theater yesterday evening. He watched a very scary film last night. He, he didn't watch, he didn't watch a very scary horror film last night. A very scary horror film last night. And Emma went to a school when she was ill. Make Emma didn't go to school when she was ill. Well, Emma didn't go to school when she was ill. And Peter, re Peter read a very interesting book yesterday. Peter didn't read a very interesting book yesterday. Okay. Tell me two things that you didn't do today. Dos cosas que no hicieron ahora. I didn't cook and I didn't drive. I didn't uh, cut a yard. Okay, I didn't cut a yard. What is that, Mr. Alejandro? Uh, the yard and the garden. My garden and ah, the house. Ah, I didn't clean the yard. Clean. Or cut the yard. Okay, another one. Tell me something that you didn't do. Algo que no hicieron. Joanna, let's, just, let's go in order. Uh, I laundry. Aha, uh -huh. I didn't do... I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry. Raúl. I didn't... Hey, I dinner. I didn't have dinner. Oh... That's why you might be hungry right now. Liana. I didn't watch TV. I and didn't, I didn't uh -huh. and I didn't listen to music. Mm, you didn't watch TV and you didn't listen to music. That's a very sad day. Carlos Alfredo. What you didn't do today? I didn't do uh, play soccer or uh -huh. I didn't do exercise. Okay, I didn't do exercise is okay, but I didn't yes. do play soccer. I didn't do play. Tenemos dos verbos. Uh -huh. I didn't do or I didn't play. Uh, play. Con... play. So I didn't play. play soccer. Good. I didn't play soccer. Very good job. And Ada. I didn't do um exercise i didn't yes. do exercise uh-huh and the other one I didn't gym. ah i didn't what i, I, didn't, verbo. I, I didn't, didn't i didn't what what gym mm, i didn't watch gym or i didn't go to the gym i didn't go to the gym i didn't go to the gym very go good ellie tell me two things that you didn't do I didn't play video games. I didn't shopping. I didn't. ¿Cuál es el verbo normal? I didn't. Shop. 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 Very good. 
Alejandro, I didn't cut the yard and give me another thing that you didn't do. And do, I am, I didn't uh, 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 clean a, a yard. I didn't clean the yard, uh -huh. but deme la otra, solo me hago una oración. I didn't clean the yard and? Mm, and I didn't uh, laundry. I didn't what? ¿Dónde está el verbo? I didn't? I didn't clean the, the, the laundry. I didn't clean the laundry is not possible. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry. Good. Janet, give me two things that you didn't do. Mm, I did not shop. I did not shop. Uh huh. I did not shop. Uh -huh. I did not shop. Um, I know watch TV. I I did not watch TV. I didn't watch TV. Excellent. Ruth Marielos, give me two things that you didn't do today. I didn't cook the uh -huh. dinner. I didn't cook dinner. I didn't to rest I didn't, I didn't rest rest I didn't rest very good let's see the next one uh, Odilia tell me two things that you didn't do Odilia medio la veo por ahí okay uh, Marvin give me two things that you didn't do I did not play soccer and I did the exercise I didn't play soccer and I didn't exercise, right? Odilia, can you listen to me now? Hoy si me escuchas, Odilia. No. Odilia va peleando con el micrófono. Let's eh, see. No, no, lo que pasa es que voy en camino. Y okay. Se... okay, okay, don't worry. So try, try to send them on the chat then. Ana Elizabeth, tell me Bien. two things Yo that you didn't que... do. I didn't eat the lunch and I didn't study the last class. Oh, I didn't study. <laughs> Silvia, what are two things that you didn't do? I didn't watch TV series. Uh-huh. And I didn't walk to work. I didn't walk to work. And Dennis, tell me two things that you didn't do. I didn't uh, play games. I didn't play games, uh-huh. No, I didn't play soccer. And I didn't play soccer, right? Good, very good job. So these are good examples of things that you didn't do during your day. And that was good. So exactly like what you created right now, it is the same when you give me examples about what you did. And for this one, I am going to give you a little tip. When you work on the past tense, the best way to get into it is through practice, okay? La mejor manera de meternos de lleno con el pasado es un poquito de práctica. Y esta práctica me van a decir, teacher, pero eso está como de por allá del 2000. Yeah. <laughs> Keep a journal. En un cuadernito. En un cuadernito X. Anote todas las actividades que hacen el día. Okay, desde que se levanta. I woke up, I took a shower, I went to the work, I went to the bank, I checked yes. back up, right? And I need you to write the different activities, right? Lleven un diario chiquito ahí de todo lo que hacen en el día. In past. And it's going to help you practice. And you might say, teacher, pero es que yo todo hago lo mismo todos los días. Try to include new things on your day. I bought mango. I talked to my friends. I went to the class. I listened to teacher Nati. I sent the audio. I worked in the computer. So try to include different activities from your day. Every day. And you will see how different it's going to be your vocabulary. Try to do it. Inténtenlo de ahora al martes. Lleven ese diario todos los días. Escriban lo que hacen. Lo pueden hacer en el teléfono, lo pueden hacer en un chat de WhatsApp, lo pueden hacer, eh, que hagan un, un WhatsApp con ustedes mismos y envíenselo. Si no lo quieren hacer escrito, háganlo en un audio. 
guárdenlo en una nota de audio, grábenlo en la computadora, but try to practice that it's going to give you great results. Let's try this example. And it says, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I, what are we going to use here? What is the past tense of? Stayed. I just stayed. I just stayed home and watch, watch, watch television, right? And watch television. On Saturday, I visited, visited. visited my friend Fran. We we talked. We talked about. We talked and. Listened. Listened. listened, listened to music. Listened. In the listened. evening, he invited. invited. He invited, very good, some friends over, and we and cooked. And we cooked. And we cooked a great meal. I didn't, didn't work. work. I didn't, didn't work. work. Very good. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I, I didn't study. study. I didn't study, study at all. I just walked. Walk. I just walked to the mall and the shop. shop shopped. Right? I just walked to the mall and shopped. Read it with me. On Friday night. Friday night. On Friday, Friday night. night. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call. I on Friday night, I waited for a for phone, phone call. call. But my girlfriend didn't call. But my, but girl my girlfriend, girlfriend didn't, didn't, call. Call. didn't call. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. On Friday, on Friday night, night I waited for a phone call. call. My girlfriend, girlfriend didn't call. Girlfriend. 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 It's not girlfriend. girlfriend. No, you say girlfriend. 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 Okay. Girl. 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 Girlfriend. 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 Okay. Girlfriend. Y para las chicas girlfriend. es boyfriend. Boyfriend. Boyfriend is para las chicas. Girlfriend is para los chicos. chicos. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stay home and watch television. I just stay home and watch television. I just stayed home and watch television. I, I just stay home and watch television. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over. In the evening, we invited some friends over. over. And we cooked a great meal. And we, and we cooked, cooked a great, a great meal. meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't, I didn't, work, didn't work very hard, very hard on, Sunday. on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I didn't, I didn't study at all. all. At all. At all. At all. At all. I didn't study at all. I didn't, I didn't study at all. at all. I just walked to the mall and shopped. I just, I just walked to the mall and shopped. I just walked to the mall and shopped. I just walked to the mall and shopped. And shopped. And shopped. Good. Very good and job. And shopped. Here. I have here a couple of sentences. Let's continue creating. But in these ones, I am not going to do it. You are going to do them. I need you to invent information. Here, it says, yesterday I watched television. 
or I didn't watch television, depending on your sentence. Last night, I stay home or I didn't stay home? You give me the sentence. Last week, I exercise or I didn't exercise every day? And the last one, last year, I visited or I didn't visit a different country? Write your sentences. Ustedes deciden si la hacen afirmativa o negativa. But I need you to write your sentences. You can send it on the chat. You can open the microphone and tell me. You can send it on WhatsApp. Whatever you want. Choose one and write and, and tell me the answer. Escojan una y me dicen su respuesta. Y las otras las pueden poner en su cuaderno. Eh. Dale pues. Vaya, entonces voy a comenzar yo. Number two. The last night I stay home. On the last night I didn't stay home. Teacher tiene el micrófono apagado. Ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Si lo anotaron, lo logramos. Ok. Good answer, Alejandro. Sorry, I had my microphone off. Good answer. I didn't stay home and I stayed home. The next one, another volunteer. Last week, I exercised. Exercised. And um, didn't exercise. Every day. Every day. Very good job. Another volunteer. Otro voluntario. Last month I chop. Didn't chop for clothes. Okay, I shop and I didn't shop for clothes. Very good job. Another volunteer. Uh -huh. The number five. I visit a different country. Okay, I visit a different country uh, or I, I didn't. I didn't uh, visit a different different country. Okay, I didn't visit a different country. Very good job. Very good job. Another example, another volunteer. Pueden repetir los ejemplos, it's okay. You can repeat. I have one on the chat. Last night I didn't stay home, they say. Uh -huh. Another volunteer, another example. Otro ejemplo, no importa que ya esté repetido. But I need you to practice. Uh -huh. Practice, practice, practice. ¿Quién sigue? Thank you, Eli. Go ahead. I... Last week, uh, I exercise. Didn't exercise every day. Okay, I exercise or I didn't exercise every day. Very good, thank you very much, Raul. And then Janet and then Marvin. Go ahead, Raul, choose one. Last night, I stay home. I stayed home, very good. The next one? I didn't stay home. Very good job, excellent. Janet? Last month. Last um, month, uh-huh. I went shop. I did, did watch shop for, for clothes. Okay, I shopped and I didn't shop for clothes, very good. I and clothes. Marvin, go ahead. Mr. Marvin. Or Dennis, go ahead. Armando, la oración estaba dicha, pero. Ah, Dennis, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Um... <laughs> Y armar la mental. Sí. 
sorry. You know, I was like, Denny, 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 Denny. Oh, put it, put it. No, I don't know. You can choose one. See, so, yeah, um, last night, I, I read a book. I read a book? Uh-huh. Uh, they said, yeah, last night, I didn't. Um, I didn't read. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Um, no, I, I didn't watch a novela, es novela, teacher. No, no, no. Novela is soap opera. I am going to send it on the chat. Soap opera. Oh. Soap opera. Okay, soap opera. A soap opera. You didn't watch Mari Mar yesterday. I, thank you, teacher. There you go. Thank you very much. Okay, here. No, this one is for, for Friday. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. What is the next example? You got, you got up at noon. You, 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 you didn't get up at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. What about the next I one? Went, I went, to the, went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. He didn't go to the library. The next one? We meet our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Yeah, teacher. The next you one. You came home late. You came home late. You didn't come home early. Uh -huh. Look at this. Mm. Huh? Mm. Pincho. You came home late. You didn't come home early. You came home late. You didn't come home early. And the mm. next one, <laughs> you say? They, they have, have, they have, they have, they have, they have, they didn't have a party. A party. A party. They didn't have a party. What is true for you? De todas estas, hay alguna que sea real para usted? That you say, I had a picnic, I went to the museum, I got up at noon, I did my homework, I didn't do the laundry. I did my homework, right? Good. Uh -huh. I didn't get up at 10. That's one that it's true for me. Uh, we meet our classmates. Good. You got up. <laughs> you got up at I noon. Came, I came home late. I came home late, right? I came home late. So in this case, as you can see here, my dear people, so you say, I did, I didn't do. We met, we didn't meet. You got up, you didn't get up. You came, you didn't come. That is affirmative and negative. He went, he didn't go. They had, they didn't have. So you need to be careful at the moment of transforming. Because if you use did or didn't, you are not going to use the verb in past anymore. So here you have a little practice, right? Here you have a little practice and we are going to do this practice in groups. But first we are going to call the attendance. Okay, antes que los mande a trabajar en grupos. Okay, I am going to send you the image first. I am going to send you the image for you to have it. And let me just do it here on the chat. Uh, cha -cha -chan. Let me see, let me see. Where are you? Here. Okay. And then I am going to call the attendance. You are going to transform these sentences into past tense. You have the sentences in affirmative form, simple present. Okay. So you are going to transform them into simple past. Here you go. And I am going to call the attendance before everything. Le voy a pasar lista antes que nada suceda. And let's answer in a very quick way. Alejandro? Present teacher. Anna Elizabeth? Present. Thank you. Arabella? Carlos Alberto? Present teacher. Carmen, thank you. Present. Carmen Vanessa? Claudia Iris. La Claudita. Denis Eliseo. 
Present teacher. Eli. Eneida. Present. Janet. Present. Thank you. Present teacher. Jennifer. Jennifer. Jennifer Joanna. Jennifer Present. Alexandra, Joanna, thank you. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Liana. Present. Lorena. Hey, your teacher. Marvin. Odilia. Present. Thank you. Raul. Present. Ruth Marielos. Here, teacher. Sandra Georgina. Silvia Lisette. And teacher. Present. Nye. Thank you very much. Okay, so before we continue, there you have the image on the chat, okay? You have the image on the chat and I am going to give you five minutes for you to create the sentences with your couple, okay? We are going to do these little groups for five minutes and you are going to transform the sentences in past, okay? I am going to go and help the different groups. Let's go and do it right now. ¿Te llegó la invitación, Liana? Es que me equivoqué y me salí. Ok, entonces ahorita no la, no la aceptes y te voy a cambiar otra vez al grupo 1. Ok, espérate. esa no. Espérate, acepta esta. There you go. Okay, Liana, se volvió a salir. <risa> Hoy sí, te llegó. Oh no, te volviste a salir. Ok, te voy a mandar una para el grupo 5, pero no la aceptes. De ahí la, la que te salga, sí. Te volví a sacar. No. No puedo entrar, no sé por qué. Ok. Sí la acepto, pero no, no puedo entrar. Ok, espera. Te voy a sacar de aquí. <risa> ok, ok. Quiero ver. Te voy a pasar aquí. Ahí está. Tal vez en este sí puedo. There you go. Hello team. Hola teacher. Eh, los demás están en, eh, trabajando. Hi Ruth. Okay, sí. let me 
let me send you to a different group. Wait. No, me la voy a llevar a otro grupo. Sorry. Ah, aquí lo iba a resolver y se los iba a mandar. Está bien. Ah, ok. So, I, ok. Sí, ahorita lo voy, a, lo voy a trabajar. Se lo mando entonces al WhatsApp. No, no, no. Keep it for you. Porque después lo vamos a ver en clase todos juntos. Ah, ok. Go este... ahead. Work, work, work. Trabájelo okay. ahí en, en su cuadernito. Ah, vale. Ok, ok. okay. Hello. Hello, Arabella. Hello, Silvita. Hello, Carlitos. Hello, Odilia. Hello. Ok, did you finish? <laughs> ya las terminaron. Sí, yo no oigo nada. Hello. Nadie me escucha. No me oye nadie. ¿Qué pasó? Sí. Ah, bye. <laughs> Did you finish the sentences, people? No. No, okay. So, it, in this one, we have, he goes to bed early. You have to transform it into past tense. He went to bed early. We don't like onions. We didn't like onions. Stuart lives in Vancouver. ¿Cómo lo haríamos en pasado? Stuart didn't. Ajá. Didn't, didn't live. Didn't. ¿Es esta no. negativa? No. No, right? So you say in this case, Stuart. So you say, Stuart lived in. Vancouver, right? Okay. Stuart lived in Vancouver. Does she exercise? This is a question. ¿Cómo hacemos las preguntas? What would be the first part? ¿Cómo hacemos las preguntas en pasado? Did. Ajá. Did Stuart live at no. live? No, no, no. Does she exercise? Esta es la que vamos a hacer preguntas. Ah, ah, porque es pregunta, sí, sí. So, did, esta es pregunta. Did, did she exercise? Very did, good. Did she exercise? Did she exercise? And then you are going to transform the next one. I hate cooking in past tense. Affirmative. ¿Cómo haríamos esta en, en afirmativo? Pasado. Hey. I, I What is the past tense of hate? Has. ¿Cuál es el pasado de hate? I stayed. I stayed. I stayed. Hated. 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 Cook. Cooking. I hated cooking, right? They play video games. How do you make this one in past? Player. They play. They played video games, okay? Yeah. Continue working. Continue working on your exercises no. and I will come back. Ya vuelvo. Yeah. He knows the answer. Hello. Hello. La última creo que sería, did they drive, ¿verdad? Did they drive, very good. Continue, continue. Ya comienza a terminar. It's okay, <laughs> perfect. Finish? Sí, mi teacher, no estamos viendo unas oraciones que están quitando. Uh -huh. 
which ones did you have problems with? ¿Cuál dio problemas o cuál tienen? Which one is difficult for you? El de donde dice steward. Ajá, steward. Steward sería live. Lived, lived. Yeah, lived con eh, la D, ¿verdad? La yes, lived. lived. Okay. Let me lived. take everyone back. Lo voy a jalar a todos de regreso. Okay, welcome back everybody. We are going to go in a very, very quick way over the answers so you can actually check on them. In this one, we are going to have that the verb had to be in past, right? Stuart lived in Vancouver. Does she exercise? And this one is, did she exercise, right? Did she exercise? What about the next one? I hate. You have to make the verb in past tense. I hated cooking. They play video games. They played video games. Right. He knows the answer. What is the past tense of no? He knew the answer. I forget his name. What is the past tense of forget? Forgot. I forgot, right? So you say, I forgot his name. They don't study history. What is the negative? They didn't, they didn't study. They didn't study, right? They didn't study history. And the last one, do they drive? Did they drive? Did they drive? Did they drive? Okay. And there you have the forms of the sentences. For you to continue practicing, I am going to send you the second part of this one on your chat, okay? Let me send it to you right now. And this is going to be individual, okay? Se lo voy a enviar la segunda parte y eso la van a trabajar cada uno. Remember that you need to transform the sentences into past tense. And you are going to use the same form and the same base. Here you go. On the chat, you are going to find the other sentences that are the ones that you are going to keep working, okay? ¿La recibieron, chicos? For yes. you to keep practicing. Those are the ones that you are going to do for you to continue practicing. This topic is difficult, but it's not impossible. Practice. Tomorrow, make the journal. Antes de entrar a la clase, escriban ahí en su diario. ¿Qué, hora, ¿Qué hicieron durante el día? For you to have something to share when we start the class. So, my dear students, I will see you tomorrow. Same time, different topic for another class. Have a beautiful, beautiful night and enjoy your day. Practice. Okay? See you. See you. Good See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Have a good night. See you. Bye-bye.